Hi. So today I wanted to talk about the question, is the internet making us lonelier? And that's a toughie. I know that I spend more time alone than I ever have in my life. A lot of that is because the work I do is work I do by myself. But I like that because I get to think. I get to work at my own pace. There's nobody saying, well, have you finished the such and such? I think that it's actually really cool to look on something like Facebook and you know, see somebody's new baby or, or basically watch a child grow up from a distance. Um, someone that you've never met in real life, you've just seen pictures or videos of them and you're like, you don't know them, of course, but you're kind of saying, well, I have an idea of what they are like. And I know their parents, so, or their parents, so, uh, I assume they're good people. And, you know, I mean, you, yeah, you, you have to rely on the technology to bring the essence of a person to you. So I, I like that because I can't live in the same city as everybody I've ever met. That's kind of not possible. And frankly, it's exciting when people live in other cities because they bring you stories and experiences from wherever they are, things that are completely different. I mean, you could be sitting there on a sunny day and somebody could be experiencing a torrential rainstorm or blizzard or something like that, of course makes me happy to live where I live because I don't really want to be in a torrential rainstorm or blizzard, but that's a separate issue. Like at the far end of that spectrum is romance. I really don't think that there's any way to have a romantic relationship with a person that you are not able to see in person at least a good chunk of the time. You can, you know, carry friendships on from a distance. But a lot of times, because you're not in each other's physical company, there's this gnawing question in the back of my mind, uh, maybe it's in other people's minds, which is, you know, I'm enjoying this conversation, but once we've exchanged the information that we need to exchange, you know, whatever, I'm starting a new job, my child's growing up, it's kind of like, okay, well, now I kind of need to get back to whatever it is that I have to do because we all have things that we have to do. I kind of like not having 80 million people needing me for this, that, or the other thing, although it's nice when 80 million people are inviting you to parties. That's really cool. But if they just need you to, like, well, you're in charge of taking out the garbage, so I need you to approve the garbage. That doesn't make you feel real great. Um... On the other hand, though, if someone's saying, hey, you are unique, you are uniquely qualified to judge this, look at this, test this, uh, appraise this, then, then it's kind of nice. Then it's like, well, you know, I'm, you know, you're, you, you need me personally. It's not just, not just needing me because I'm in the spot. And then, of course, the next phase of that is personal relationships. When someone says, no, I, I like you personally. I want to be in your personal company. That's really cool. And that's something I feel like people treat many of their personal relationships as business relationships. So I like being able to stay in touch with people. I like knowing what people are up to, and I like tracking down people that I haven't seen in years. I am saddened by the idea that many of us, probably me included, think that being in touch with someone through the internet is good enough. Because frankly, in many cases, uh, people that I've known for years or knew years ago, I'd like to see them in person. I'd like to talk to them. I'd like to hear what they're up to. 
it's actually kind of a bummer just having them as internet friends, Facebook friends, and not being able to sit and have a cup of coffee. And the funny thing is, sometimes every six months, a year, you know, just having a cup of coffee with someone, catching up, hey, how'd, you, how'd that thing turn out? How'd that romance turn out? Whatever it is. That's enough. And it's not because of someone's quality or lack of quality. It's just that's where you guys are. Um, and that means that maybe you'd like to see somebody a little more than just simply, oh, look, there they are on Facebook. Sometimes the Internet is not enough. I would like more from some people in my life. I would like to see them more. I'd like to hear more about what's going on. 